Character archetypes you love. As per the title, themes, archetypes, concepts, or whatever fits under the general umbrella you love. I like tricksters, charmers, and lovable rogues. Hi guys, before we go any further, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And don't forget to leave your own comment of your character archetypes that you like, and we might do a video of it. And we might and we'll do a video. Them. Yeah, explain, yeah, explain them. them. Don't just like, I like this, and then leave it. We need yeah. more, more. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, let's get into the video. I rather like characters that defy their edgy expectations. Characters that seem dark or evil in their appearance, but that display humility, genuine care and love for arts and people, and overall solidarity, helpfulness, and good spirits. Not necessarily generally hard on the outside, kind on the inside kind of deal, but rather outward aspects that directly contrast with their personality. Sadly, there's too many edge words. There to is just too many edge the, words to just fucking. I, I want to be the cool guy, you know. I want to be the nice guy. <laughs> but I'm actually. <laughs> Old character past their prime, the dandy, non bravado, swashbuckler, and duelist. The fresh faced soul, just happy to be there. Also, I do love the old character though. Yeah. You know who the best one that most people know about is? Um, what's his name, sir? What's his face? From Game of Thrones. Oh, Sir Barris and Selma? So, yes, he is a perfect yeah. example of, you know, that pastor's bound be still really cool yeah. sort of character, yeah. you know. Kind, beefy brute. Understanding ex bandits trying to redeem themselves and others like them. Dwarfer academic that allows me to just make up random shit in the spot about dwarven culture or my field. Yeah, well, that's actually kind of yeah. good, yeah. I use the Warhammer Fantasy Career Compendium to find myself an old job a lot as well. I hate people who play as nobles and assassins, but other criminals are fine. Yeah, what? they have been overdone. Assassins yeah. are overdone. They are Let's overdone. Them. Warrior who just wants to die in battle. Overstressed mage. The guy there just is so discontent. Hardworking cleric who wants to make the folks back home safe. God willing. Samwise. <laughs> yeah. That's just Sam. Yeah. Nobleborn who is fully aware of how fucked everything is. Intelligent orcs. Not half orcs or shit like that. A full on orc that, for whatever reason, achieves genius intelligence. I love the idea of an entire race of brutal, bloodthirsty warriors being led by a singular warlord that shares in their warlike nature but tempers with their intellect and cunning unlike any other. That's actually a pretty basic I idea. Do, I quite like that. I don't know if I've ever came across that. Like, I've no. ever been done before. The closest I can think is uh, World of Warcraft's orcs where they're quite stoic. Yeah. But I don't know if you'd call them hyper-intelligent at all. I wouldn't yeah. call them they're on par with humans. I would, f I, I, I would think a really hyper-intelligent orc would... Um, fuck your day up. Yeah, really fuck your day <laughs> I up. I think that's the only reason what keeps orcs down a lot of the time is making them stupid yeah and that's what gives humans the advantage in a but lot most of the sense. time whenever you think of like big brawny beasts they're dumb yeah they always tend to be but i think that's just a stereotype that's been brought into it's, yeah. it suffers from a lot of those animals do like rhinos for instance are stupid as fuck yeah but elephants aren't elephants are really smart yeah so you can do it you know yeah. if you really wanted to all those dark characters with king heart in the thread I made a violent tribal barbarian who massacred, ravaged, and suffered his whole life. I actually just wanted him to find peace and learn some goodness in his heart. DM and players know this. DM encourages moments for it. Players keep fucking it over, only giving him more reasons to be hateful and untrusting. As of now, he has zero reasons to notice any beauty in the world. Any female NPCs that came on to him were only using him. Closest thing to a comrade he had in our party was a PC who eventually tried to murder him and died while he was in prison. I'm pretty sure he's going to die soon. I just wanted to. I just wanted him to have some happy memories when he dies. Oh, that's sad. You asked for you. I know I really shouldn't, but the guy who is just in it for the paycheck and doesn't talk much has always been my favourite. Yeah, and look, then he has a picture of the Mandalorian. Yeah. yeah. Look, you know, 
I do get it. You know the problem is it's been done too much, and the people that try to replicate it just do such a yeah, shit job. Yeah, real shit job. It. But like, even when you look at it, you know that new TV show, The Mandalorian, they did a really good job on it. I think. I think they actually made him pretty cool. Yeah, I really enjoyed the Mandalorian, and, and I really him... like the concept of him. Of, he was really fucking tough enough to crack. But and then Baby did... Yoda walks in and be like, Meh. <laughs> it was a really nice contrast. So yeah. it, was, it was a really nice contrast. But yet again, is that not like that scene that like Beauty and the Beast sort of contrast? Yeah, it is. You know it is. where. If it's done well, it's amazing. If it's only done like halfway well, it's shit. Yeah. It needs to be, it's a uh, hundred or nothing. Mm-hmm. Would you agree with that? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Kind of reminds me of like Gimli and Legless. Legless. Yeah. How it good. took Legless a long time to get Gimli to even smile at him. Yeah. Well, that's dwarves and elves. But that's, like, you know, yeah. They need each yeah. other already, so they've already got that. Deepest we're first. rambling yeah okay let's go on to the next one yeah um yeah the guy that sits in the corner that just wants paycheck is most of the time kind of gay but if it's done well i'm actually good. completely cool with it for some reason i'm practically smitten by the idea of bent but unbroken a character who's hit the absolute bottom of the barrel was changed by their experience and comes out as a better person for it yeah, I think everyone yeah, enjoys that. Like, yeah. it's, it's not quite a It's an underdog story. It's not... A, yeah, it to is me, it is. Yeah, and it's kind of hard not to have yeah. an under, underdog story. Grizzled veterans that seem constantly exasperated at the party's batshit plan until they give up and roll with it. That's literally Garbu as a DM. Yeah. Garbu just gets so 100... sick with everyone's shit. shit. And just like... <laughs> okay, just roll. Okay, just fucking roll. roll with it. Fine, fine. <laughs> Squirely and mischievous old men. Well, like my Master Pycelle almost. I think of a thingy. Who? Is it Tom Bombadil? Yeah, he's quite mischievous, I yeah. suppose. He just fucking shows up in a way. Yeah, Tom Bombadil could be quite a mischievous. I don't know if he's mischievous. Yeah, he's more mysterious and mischievous. Yeah. Yeah. He's an interesting character. I like characters with dark past. Maybe even a dark secret. But aren't edge lords and actually are good people. That's <laughs> oh my, oh my. a very hard line. It's so hard to, to go achieve on. that though. I think you need to it, be an, an To amazing. have that and not be portrayed as an edge lord is so, so hard. hard. It's so so hard. hard. Only a few people can pull it If off. I'm sitting down the game, some person rolls up and be like, Oh, already, I have I, a dark past and I have dark secrets, but I'm not an edge lord. I'm like, Alright, okay, Jimmy, right, sit down. Alright, don't you worry. <laughs> Had a player who played a swashbuckling battlemaster fighter in her D and D game. He was an old swordmaster who was almost legendary due to his skills in his younger days. It was fun describing his failures to him on occasion. You see the orc's blade come up from the corner of your eye, and start to turn. Twenty years ago, you'd have turned, parried, and gutted the orc like a fish. Today, you're just a second too late. Take twelve points of damage. Oh. That's- as you try to vault the low wall, you experience a sharp pain in your lower back and can almost hear an audible crack as you pull something. Your technique is flawless, but age once again comes to take its toll. While you parry and strike and step in to deliver one of your own, your leg gives and you stumble a bit, missing, but catching yourself in time to step back and avoid being counterattacked. Player was super excited about the character, until he had to leave for a time, because he got in the Peace Corps. And his final battle was epic as fuck. Awesome. I, I do love older characters. I yeah. love, like, you know, they used to be, like, really cool, but you, they just passed their time. Like, maybe they're the equivalent of, like, 50s, 60s, maybe even, even 70s. 40s. Yeah, even 40s. Like, they start to slow down. Yeah. You know, I, I do like that, though. But yeah. I do think that the age and the technique can make up for that. Yeah. But there is just a point where it just takes it out of you. Yeah. Have any of you guys actually seen, a bit off topic, any of you guys seen Mike Tyson? He's tweeting again. Yeah, I you seen that. You need to see some of the shit he's I've doing. i seen that. He looks, oh, he is terrifying. Yeah. And he's, and the thing is, what he, age is Mike Tyson? He's in his 50s. Fuck me. He's in his 50s. I'll, I'll see if I can throw it up on screen and if the video gets hit, we'll just see. But yeah. I'm not going to put any audio in, but I'll just let you guys see what he's like. Because, yeah. like, you know, he's fighting, like, he's, like, you know, he's, like, nineteen twenty, <laughs> but, like, he's got all that, like, them years of experience. Experience and, just, and strength. Oh, pure it's, strength. It's, it's, just, him, yeah. it's, it's really cool to see. It's really cool to see. Me and my friend keep landing onto this dynamic with our characters. One's a psycho combat monster. Others usually the level-headed cunning type. 
end up with the overstressed, cunning type going batshit crazy while the psychos chasing after them, trying to pull them out of a fire. Old men who are batshit insane but somehow always get results. The paladin who keeps running into trouble and just wants to survive. Clerics who have had enough of this heretical shit. The old person who can, and will, kick someone's ass in seven different ways. A normal man who rages against the gods and or fate. Yeah. Villains whose goals are perfectly rational and whose actions are exactly what the heroes would be doing if the roles were reversed. And yet whose goals are completely incompatible with the PCs. Honestly, but that's like why he used to be a good villain. Yeah. A good villain needs to be understandable and yeah. know why they're doing it. Because, you if know, they're just over the top evil. They're villains for the sake of being villains. villains. The Saturday morning cartoons we must for them. <laughs> <laughs> evil for the sake of being evil. Yeah. You know, it makes that's what makes a good villain. Yeah. And I think that's one of the things, especially Marvel seems to have suffered from it. The Marvel old, Marvel did suffer from it, but the, the only, only really good villain was, was Loki. Loki. But the, that's because Loki then also has completely understandable... He was understandable why he was doing it. Yeah. So <laughs> you that's, know. therefore, you know what I mean? Yeah. You get what I'm trying to say? Alternatively, completely batshit and seeing villains, whose goals, if there even are any, are a mystery to everyone, even sometimes including them. Basically, give me anything about boring middle-of-the-road villains. Can you do anything other than I know. Hyper-competent sociopaths who are actually competent and not just competent in the sense plot armour helps them. They go through clear steps and experimentation to figure out what they can do and determine appropriate means of solving tasks based on their knowledge. They just happen to not be very concerned about collateral beyond things they find interesting or personally valuable. They make for fun, long-term villains if done right, and you can apply any amount of idiosyncrasies to them to justify any potential means of approach for the heroes, while still allowing for clear and abundant competence on the villain's part. Like, he meticulously covers every possible step he can think of, and the solution is something he'd never think of. Not because he's an idiot, but because the solution is a completely obscure thing he'd never have access to the knowledge of normally. And neither would the party, unless they tried to think very out of the box. The inscrutable side character who seems to know more about what's going on than either the heroes or the villains, and is just as likely to be helping either side at any given moment. They almost always wind up working for the secret bigger bad, but I like when they wind up being a good guy and I love it when they remain in the grey area to the end. Pick related sadly still hasn't really been topped for me. No, I would say for me, Mel, you're solid for the Ocelot. That was a really good one. Also, Eva was done very well as well. I know Meg has never played Mel, you're solid for the No, she, I haven't. Yeah, you missed out big time. You really should play it. Say stop. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed that. And don't forget to let us know down below what are your favourite character archetypes. And we'll do a video on them next week. We've done a video yesterday on characters that you hate character archetypes that you hate um we'll be doing that next week so we'll yeah we'll like be doing that next week. week this time next week we'll be bringing out one video on the hate one video on the love no. so don't forget to like comment and subscribe check and out the models check the models, models and hit the notification bell and we'll see you in the next video bye